What's up, fellow junkies, and welcome back to Horror Junkies 509. I'm your host, Kyle, back and ready to rock and roll, welcoming you to Halloween Never Ends November. That's right, you guys. So, like I said, Halloween Never Ends, so here we are, right back at the Horror Junkies 509 with the Junkie Movie Reviews. This episode brought to you by the letter G. And now, if you guys follow me on my new Instagram at Horror Junkies 509, I'll put my little tag name in my description so everyone can find it, follow me, and see the kind of wacky shit I post. I mean, you know, I'm getting new to this whole Instagram thing for my channel. I also have my own, but you know, I want to do one for my channel, so it's gonna, it's kind of, I'm flopping, flip flopping back and forth. So, to get into this week's review, like I said, this episode is brought to you by the letter G, and I was having a tough time because I apparently don't have that many G movies with the letter G. Let's see here. Including the one I have, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not a lot to pick from. So I just went with one of my newest ones. My newer ones, I should say. And probably one that's probably the most grisly, gruesome, and naked. So if you guys haven't, don't follow me on Instagram. Uh, you don't know yet, so the rig reveal is coming. That's the drum roll for you. And I went with 1972's The Gore Gore Girls. And if you guys know about this movie, pretty pretty interesting on this one. Uh, this was directed by uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis, I believe. Um, also brought us uh, Blood Feast and uh, the original Wizard of Gore. So this guy just died in September. I just realized that. He was 90 years old, so... Another one we've lost recently, and that just sucks. Uh, but I really hate this cover. Like, this cover on the back, I so much rather have. Let's see if I can even get this. I don't know what it is about that one, but I want it. Like, that thing is the shit. It probably is the VHS copy or something. So maybe I'll be on the hunt for that. Who knows? All right, you guys. <laughs> like always, go ahead and drop down and give you the basic plot of this movie, as basic as I can give it. But basically, this is one of those movies that you step foot in, the very first scene is someone gets murdered. And then the credits. Yeah, this is a pre-credit murder movie. So, uh, after that, basically, the uh, newspaper hires this uh, private investigator or CIA m Mr. Guy to be the investigator on these murders, because they're like, you're the one to do it. And he's a cocky, pompous, sex-driven maniac, I guess, if you want to say that. Uh... So, they get him, uh, they offer him lots of money, for probably for the time to do it, and he, he does it, so he starts right where you think, because basically this movie is, someone doesn't like strippers very much, so that's basically everyone who gets killed in this movie is a stripper. And, the kills in this movie are just very gruesome, and there's tons of nudity in this movie, so if you are a gruesome hound or a nudity hound, try this one, definitely so. Still getting into the plot, you guys. Basically, the guy is going through his demotions, trying to find out who the killer is. You know, he's basically having to spend a lot of time at the strip club because that's the people that are getting knocked off. He's talking to uh, the other uh, strippers. He's talking to the owner. He's talking to sus suspicious people in the strip club, doing whatever he can to find out the culprit. And without giving away too much, you guys, that's basically the gist of this film. The guy's basically trying to find the killer. Uh, he's... Uh, planting himself right where the killer probably is, but we don't know who the killer is until the end. So, things I liked about this movie. Like I said, graphic nudity and graphic gore. So, I'm in it right there. Basically, every bit of this is practical effects. 1972, of course. Did you expect any different? I didn't. But, the freaking kills in this movie, basically a lot of face mutilation. So, it's very, very, very gruesome. It's like, obviously it's, uh, like I said, practical effects, so they do look a little silly. But, you know, they, they cared about this movie, you could tell, in the kills in it. I mean, it's got that old, grimy, kind of grindhouse look, so I really love that. The way it looks. I mean, uh, I mean, just the fact that it was set in a strip club was kind of cool, not particularly as far as the nudity part. Just because, you know, that, I can yeah, take it or leave it kind of thing. But it helps, right? Am I right? So-so. Mm. But other things I like about this movie, definitely, like I said, the look of it. The music of it was kind of fun. I mean, it was just like house stripper music, but it is what it is. 
the freaking uh, investigator guy, he was such a dick, and I just loved it. He was, he was such a pompous, cocky asshole, and that's what carried me through this movie. I really, really enjoyed watching this character. Uh, how he goes through things, how he talks to people, how he just is so disrespectful, but he's still a gentleman in a weird way. Um, as far as anything else, you guys, I mean... I feel like this was filmed pretty well for the 19, 1972. I looked good. It w I didn't feel like I was, you know, watching like maybe a, a VHS uh, homemade movie or anything like that. I felt like it was very well done. Let's see here. The atmosphere of the strip club and the whole filming of it. I mean, just grainy and just good old fashioned uh, film, cinema, photography. Just love that kind of stuff. So, can't really say any, any bad things about that. Um, as far as... Uh, uh, things I didn't like, uh, the killer, you never really see him, you just kind of see his hands, so it's another one of those hands killers, so I don't really care for those, I'd much rather have, uh, see the face of the killer, I, I, I understand if we can't know who the killer is, that's fine, but I mean, do a mask, do something, I mean, I want, this might be because they couldn't think of a mask, but I mean, come on, let's, let's try a little harder with that one, I'm not a fan of the hands killers, I mean, I, I watch them and I keep them, but... That's one thing I really not crazy about this uh, movie. It's just I'm not a fan of the floating, essentially the floating hands killer. But all in all, you guys, this is this is a very great film to check out if you can handle all the nudity and all the gore. But it's a fun flick. I can't say really too many bad things about it. I mean, some of these girls are just downright annoying because once they once their got uh, friends stripper friends start getting killed off, there's like oh no, and then. Like, you know, there's a fun part where all, uh, there's a group of feminists that run on the stage and start attacking the stripper. That's always good fun. I think there's a jet outside my house. That's terrifying. All right, but back to the film, you guys. Like I said, lots of good stuff in this movie. Just a great old school movie. If you guys got the time, definitely check it out. Uh, like I said, uh, not too many bad things I dislike about this movie because you gotta, you gotta kind of tone down uh, dislikes on this thing just because it is so old. I mean, you can't just hate it just because it's old. So, you gotta love it. You gotta respect it because it's old. So, what am I gonna rate this movie? Out of ten, like always, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and rate this one a fantastical seven. Uh, just because, I mean, it, it's got a lot in it, but there's still just a few things that are, are were lacking just a little bit, but it wasn't in a bad way. I mean, just because the age of the movie, I mean, you can't, there's certain things you can uh, penalized for it just because it's such an old flick but seven is what i'm going to go with it highly enjoyed this movie this is for my second maybe third time watching this flick and i still enjoy it just you know gory uh, naked violence what can i say more than that all right guys so that's going to be my review on the gore gore girls i hope you guys enjoyed it definitely check me out on instagram it's still a young instagram so i'm posting things as much as I think, I, I as much as I think about it, or if I see something awesome, you'll probably know what I'm gonna review before I review it. Stuff like that, just kind of insider knowledge. If you want it, I'll make sure I put that in the in the description. Uh, but sorry, you guys. Whew, I just woke up. Still, I'm on my second cup of coffee. Still, it's not done yet. It's it's getting cold out there, but that's okay. Um, but Horror Junkies 509. The, the Junkie Movie Reviews is back. I just had to get through October because there's lots of madness through October. But I'm going to be coming back after this. I'm going to be doing more reviews. This alphabet set is going to get done. I just did the letter G. Let's just keep on continuing. So, who knows what's next. And if you're on my Instagram, you'll find out. But that's going to do it for me today. Horror Junkies 509 signing out. Just until next time. You guys keep it horror. And I'll see you. In the next one. Man, I just stole that from Amy's autopsy report. My bad. Let's, uh, I need a different tagline. Hmm. Let's see here. But like I said, but guys, uh, H is the next letter. I got, I think, there's quite a few horror, uh, horror movies uh, with the letter H. So we got good stuff coming. Stick with me. Like, comment, subscribe. Always comment, you guys. I love hearing from you guys. Maybe you guys got a, a review you really want me to do that starts with the letter H. I can do that for you. You guys have a good one.